Hello, this is PSKV coming to you in the comfort of your home. Oh, yes, in the comfort of your home. Okay, coming in to give you a tight tour of my Brooklyn kitchen. That's right, my Brooklyn kitchen. Coming in, showing you how I do open spaces that help me to arrange things when I am cooking. Arrangement means when you are in a tight space in a Brooklyn apartment, you want elegance as well. And especially when you love cooking. So that's what I'm taking you to this tour to let you know that you can still have the things you need, especially when you're doing cooking and you want that mm -mm, that expertise with cooking and so you don't have to eat all out in different restaurants when you like preparing your own food so that's what my kitchen is all about my kitchen um theme is core coffee and herbs that's right coffee and herbs baby because i love me some coffee and herbs and tea so i put all three together call it coffee herb tea time baby love ya I upload a video that you will be ready to keep up with BPSKV. That's right, PSKV and all that good stuff for Shape to Success, organization, cleaning, and cooking. And you will keep up with me. That's right, Miss PSKV. And what the PSKV stand for? Prosperity, success, kingship, baby. Being in that vineyard, collecting them grapes. <laughs> so come and join me and hit that subscribe button and keep up. All right? Do me a favor that I can also keep up with your things on YouTube. I'm coming in to show you a little tour of my cabinet. And this cabinet is dealing with my canisters that's holding my coffee and also holding my dry goods so each one of these canisters that you can see and some is in the back if you can't see those that's in the back but those are jars that is ready to be filled and the same here and the same here so these are um canisters that i also got even these from dollar tree and I got the um, the set that holds it up to stacking in levels. I got that from Home Goods, and I tell you, it stacks them up perfectly. And I can also put a little tray right there in front of it to hold little items, also of things that I want to deal with packages. And right here, you can see this is my Starbucks specialized just for Starbucks you see I'm a coffee drinker so there is one so that's another one that can hold coffee sugar whatever I desire this is my seasonal and I love season because I cook a lot so this is my season if you can see this is a Martha Stewart collection and I have more than one um, seasonal area because I do a lot of cooking and you'll see that later on in the tour but this is just the tour of showing you organization of the things that I'm doing right there is another seasonal order right there and that is a Dollar Tree um, container too with the glass straws I got that from Dollar Tree the other ones no I didn't get those from Dollar Tree so it's a mixture that I have done because I have I like certain things from Dollar Tree but I like majorly a lot of things from Macy's from Kohl's yes you know from different stores I feel like when you really going out of your way to really make your um storage you know convenient you cannot just look at one store you have to really go out of your way to look at what other stores have in stock for you to make these things work so yes this can work because i found that out and that is six right there six of those containers of those canisters that is lined up on that level and or and that have herbs in the back too there goes some turmeric rosemary 
And then I have, I believe that's some brown sugar back there. I'm not for sure. Let me see. Yes, that's right. Brown sugar. And so what I believe in, you know, I have those that is also a chalkboard for me to write labels. Things that I know that I can see, that I identify. I don't, I don't have to put nothing on that because I know what exactly. it is. So why put a label when you know exactly what it is? It's see-through. And these is packed chalkboard for me to write labels. Things that I know that I can see, that I identify. I don't have to put nothing on that because I know exactly what it is. So why put a label when you know exactly what it is? It's see-through. And these are pa um, seasonal packages too. I know what it is. I don't have to put tag on it to know what that is. You know? And that's saving time as well. And this right here, that is right here. If you want to know what the white one is, I'm bringing it back. That is um, sea salt. So I know what that is. And over here, I have a sea salt collection. You see, a sea salt collection. So right here, where it's not a, that's a chalkboard and the label is not one. I know exactly what that is. That is coconut. So I know what that is. That's dry coconut. So I can write coconut on there if I want. But if I want to leave it blank, I can because I am the chef in my own kitchen. So I know what is what. But so to my family know what it is because they also is familiarized with the kitchen. And that is coffee beans, so I know what that is. And then I have coffee right there. So I didn't have to write coffee up there because I know what it is. Right there, I know that that is cornmeal, but I still put that as cornmeal because I have different types of cornmeal. Yes. So this is yellow, uh-huh, Paulina. And so that's yellow cornmeal too, but that, that serves a different purpose. You understand me? So now I have names on that. You see what I'm saying? So those containers is filled, but I know exactly what's in it. So when I know what's in it, I don't even waste my time putting things on. Later on, I may put labels on certain ones that in between. But certain things have labels and certain things don't because I know what it is. You, see? you understand me? So now I have different names on that. You see what I'm saying? So those containers is filled, but I know exactly what's in it. So when I know what's in it, I don't even waste my time putting things on. Later on, I may put labels on certain ones that in between. But certain things have labels and certain things don't because I know what it is. You see? And anybody that come in, they will know what it is as well because that is. So this one right here, I may put a label up there, label up there and say salt. You know? But nobody won't think it's sugar. <laughs> so I may that on there for that order but it's sort it's sea sort so it's seasoned but all right so just giving you a joke about it you know and up above this here cabinet you can see i have right there utensils up here i have um things up in here that is a mixer but i have also a kitchen aid so my kitchen aid you can't see it but it is stored away is over here when i pull it out you will be able to see it i have a lot of storage that i can put you know that important things i have out and certain important things i don't so that is a roasting pan when i'm roasting i'm using up the oven spaces and i have a double deck oven but still i like baking so i need that too when I'm doing large cooking. You see right up there, it's empty because I have other things that will be going up there. Right there is some china plates. Those are china. So that is a blessing right there. So those are stacked up, ready to go when I'm having those um, nice dinners. All right. But this is one of the, you know, things that I'm showing you right now that you can understand that they are the season so this is just one of my cabinets just showing you the accessories of that is inside of this cabinet right and see this one say coffee but guess what i don't have coffee in but it's coffee related and what's in there is my coffee sheets so when i'm using um a coffee maker that need coffee sheets because I have different coffee makers. Yes, I have the coffee maker that um grind and brew. Then I have um a Mr. Coffee. 
I like coffee and different ones. I got the kitchen a coffee maker, but I have different ones. So whatever mood I'm in, I can change it up. And I'm thinking about also getting another coffee maker that I've been, you know, got my one. So I surprise that and give you a tour on that one too. So yes, I have my my own coffee bar, but my main bar is my bullet bar that's right the healthy drink bullet bar so i'm going to be giving you a tour on that as well mm -hmm. so this is just a tour just showing you mm -hmm. so this is just a tour just showing you what's in this here cabinet and how you can make space and save space so right here, I'm showing you a bowl. I'm DIY the um the front of it. I'm not for sure because I do like wood and I like the way it um shows the the um the elements. You know, I like that. I like the dark and I like the light and it brings off in the natural wood. I like when it aged naturally. You know, so that's a good thing with me as well. You know, so as it go in and get that richness. All right. Okay, so right here you see my bling bling bling. These are my towel holders that I have. That's right, do you wide my cabinet doors? And if you want to know where I'm at, I'm in Brooklyn, New York. That's right, in Brooklyn, New York. That's where I'm at. And I tell you, this is my apartment residential. All right, my apartment residential. And I was living in a an estate for over you know 12 15 years i was living in the state and i tell you it was big a lot of rooms 14 rooms you know with all the space included had walk-in um storage closet i mean it was phenomenal but let me tell you life goes on baby <laughs> and what happened is that i um now is gave it up and took all my things and put it into a storage in Virginia. Everything is in storage, double storage. I had to get two double storage for all my things because now I got freedom to do it. But I didn't want to start my newness with someone else in my life and just have memory of the past of that person in my life when I had to do so much. All right, so this is one of the areas. So I'll be showing you more, okay? Okay, now we just coming over here to a tour and just letting you see certain things. These is still my storage. This is still the, mm hmm There you go. My canister this is my also Martha Stewart. You're going to see that I love Martha Stewart. So giving a shout out, she ain't paying me, but I just tell you, I am one of her fans that I like, you know, that she came out of ruins when they tried to ruin her and the things that she did for us, you know, to herself. She, you know, she came, you know, clean with it, you know, meant what she had to go through. And she went, you know, and you, everybody knows she was incarcerated. But let me tell you what this beautiful woman did. She came right back out and got on her grind. And that's why I'm a Martha Stewart fan. I love that woman because she showed us to be women and queens that you can still do your thing and don't let people stop you. So that's why you see that I love that woman. <laughs> and I love her for the glory of Hashem. Not no nothing else but love for God because that, that is my sister. And I love her. So, you know, for the glory of Hashem. She helps so many, you know, women to, you know, to really stand out to let them know that you can do it. You know, that's major. So now look at this here. Like I said, I've been showing you for a little while. This is my Chriselle. Dealing with Martha Stewart, see? I told you I love herbs. And this is a Cassell too, see? This is my hotel collection. It's ceramic. And what I store in this here is my homemade cookies, um, which they can easily get to. And also little, you know, desserts, even down to brownies can go into that. And it preserves it. It keeps it, you know, fresh. And that is my H collection. I call it the H collection because it's the hotel collection. And it is all ceramic. You can find it at Macy's, you know, it's a little pricey, but you know, it is well worth it because it really stores the food items very good in the, in that um those canisters.